can try all day, but I will crush you, man, like a freaking cherry on top of a sundae. Because I crush those so that the whole sundae flies into my face. And that, my friend, is the fruit of the day. The cherry. <laughs> What up brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having the most freaking wonderful day. If you're playing Diablo 4, please let me know. I'm playing it too today. I will start today and I hope that it will be amazing. Like uh, I was told by Certified to play the game. I was told by uh, Arena MTG Original Dex to play the game. Everybody's telling me and even Solaris is playing the game. And it's been so long. And I've been playing a Diablo game, so maybe, maybe, who knows, I will find myself in that situation. And hey, no spoilers, my friends, but it's upon us. But I'm getting sidetracked so easily today because I'm back from my holiday, you know. I was gone for like nine days, I think, something like that. And it was pretty amazing. I had a beautiful time, so if you haven't seen yesterday's video, the post band Malone video with the tattoos and everything, those were fake. Don't you worry about it. Those weren't real. But in love with the yammering. Let's get into a Give Me Your Soul. Hammering. Why is this deck called Give Me Your Soul? Well, it's Orzov. And Orzov usually is known for taking souls or taking your money. But I don't want your money. I want your soul. Yes, Mortal Kombat or whatever. Give me your soul. Your soul shall be mine. I Also, Mortal Kombat is coming out to see. There is so many good games. I'm getting sidetracked again. Let's get into the deck. We're playing a freaking control deck that is just so grindy and so amazing that, you know, I just have no other words, but I love it. That is all I have for this deck. There is no destroy all non-land permanents right now. And, you know, since Invoke Despair is gone, Planeswalkers have become way better than before. So let's get over the deck real quick. How do we win? Well, Kaya, the Intangible Slayer, is one of our win cons. We just deal our opponents three damage so long until they're dead. And uh, you know, that is what we want to do. But you know, the minus three can also steal a Traxxas. Oh, you can't read it? I'm sorry about that. Here it is. The minus three can also steal a Traxxas, which is insanely good. Also, we can draw two cards, make our opponents cry one. But drawing two cards in these colors is pretty darn good. And Kaya has Hexproof. So they have to attack it with the freaking creatures. And I love that so much. Uh, our other win cons are the Wandering Emperor Eternal Wanderer. Because with those we can make these little tokens, you know, this one and this one. This one looks way cooler, just saying. Uh, the Sunfall, because with this we can get the Incubator, which can become very big and strong. So we can slam down our opponents after they're overextended, play their whole freaking hand down on the battlefield. Now we just exile the whole freaking board and slam them with a freaking 10 10 for Axiom. Pretty darn good. But we also have some more beatdown with the Sarah Paragon, Wedding Announcement, and the Ambitious Farman Spirit Companion. Those are all tech cards. As you can see, this ramps us, which is good. Well, not ramp, but white ramp. This draws us cards, which is super good, together with Eternal Wanderer. We could just exile this after we attacked in, return it to the battlefield at the end of our turn, and draw another card. Pretty darn good. And, you know, with the Wedding Announcement, we're just making ourselves blockers until we get to Kaya. And also makes our creatures big and strong. So, our Sunfall token now will look even freaking better. I played this deck in various different forms. I tried the Invasion of Gobokan. It did not work at all. I had some other cards in here. I tried to have like a discard kind of shot. None of that worked. So I lost a lot of rank build in this deck. And you know, once you destroy all of the creatures with the Path of Peril, or just, you know, just with the Eternal Wanderer, you can just bring them back with the Breach of Multiverse. Steal whatever you want from them. Get your Kaya, put it on the battlefield, be freaking annoying as freaking heck. So we have a lot of expensive cards in here, but that is alright because our early game is so safe and secure. Because we have the lay down arms for the early game, we have the ossification for whenever we need it, we have the path of peril for the early game, we have the freaking sunfall. So we have five board wipes and we have seven target removals. What could go wrong, you ask me? I don't know. A lot of things can always freaking go wrong. So, we also have the Restoration of a Ganjo. With this, we can dis uh, discard the Nosification, return it right away. We can discard the Spirit Companion, get it back right away. An Ambitious Farmhand if you want to, like, you know, Bagok. Also, I have to say, the Seasoned Cathar that is written on top there, super whack, man. Who is able to read that? Please, please, don't you tell me you are. 
Let me try with these sunglasses. Not even with these sunglasses. So wizards, please fix this because this is just ridiculous. It shouldn't freaking be like that. So, but with the restoration of Eganju, we also get the Architect, which is pretty darn good, because with this we can make little 1-1s, and later on if we have to wipe the board, all of these 1-1s will become a 1-1 counter on our Incubator token. I decided to keep in the Roadside Reliquary, even though I cut the, um, the, um, what's his face? You know, the three mana artifact that gives you a mana? Um, yeah, that one? There's no person here that doesn't exist today, so they can't help me freaking out. So, uh, but still, I kept it in because even drawing one card in the late game is still better than freaking nothing. And if you have your Sunfall token down, you know, this artifact, you can even draw two cards. So it is still pretty alright, but you know, do you have it always? No. Do you always have, like, you know, the other one that costs three and gives you, like, in third day and night, that one? No, you don't always have that, but you know, still freaking worth it. Obscure Storefront, pretty darn good with Sarah Paragon. If you play this from your graveyard, that is four life right away. Is it four? Yeah, it is four. Uh, no, three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read the three in the middle. I was like, this is two life, but then I remember, wait, that's wrong. It's two life because you will exile this right away because it leaves the battlefield. You're getting one life from this, two life from this. Pretty darn good if you're up against Mono freaking Rat. The Celestis, when did you get in here? It's called Celestis? Okay. Thank you, person that doesn't exist. You're my best friend. <laughs> so, that is the deck. It is pretty darn straightforward. It doesn't have any counterspell magic. Yes, I'm saying that forever now. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Refined Tower in here just to cycle. Do a land as well. But, you know, we draw a lot of land. So, if we draw this in the late game, we don't want it. With the Ambitious Farming, we're getting land. With the Restoration, we're getting land. You know, all of that. So, don't you freaking worry about a thing. Sweet Summer Child, this deck has everything it freaking needs. So thank you all so very freaking much. I'm Manchester Malone, and I will see you in those soul-stealing games. So building this deck cost me some rank, but it's absolutely worth it because now the deck is... So Chef's Kiss Delicious, and I hope you're ready for it. <gasps> We're going first. Primus? Primus, I almost didn't find your button, but you did find it in the end. Yes, I did. I did find it in the end. <laughs> that is all that matters. That is all that freaking matters. So, um... I don't think that there's a need to... Oh, it's enchantments, isn't it? I will just be going with the Spirit Companion here. The Wandering Emperor is pretty sweet. I like it. So this enchantments, I can tell you that much. Like, nobody plays white and green and not play enchantments. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Exactly what I freaking said. So, um, we're getting rid of this. There's, there's no reason not to, you know. Literally none so we ever. Oh, spirit a companion. You're the bestest dog ever. Just the bestest freaking dog ever. All right, they just have another one. Why not? Maybe I do find a white source. That would be pretty darn good if I could. I couldn't. Okay. Uh, let's bring down a black source. And just another lay down arms. There's literally no reason not to do it. <laughs> There's literally no freaking reason not to do it. Okay. So, Wandering Emperor will be coming up next. Which is also pretty darn good. So, we will see what they have. The, the three of them. Okay. Yeah, the, just nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Alrighty. Show. This is pretty good, though. And uh, if they attack in, that's good. If they don't attack in, we're still fine. I do have the Path of Peril, so I'm alright with this. Calyx. Okay. Alright. And... I bet that that is it. That will be it. They have nothing else. Oh, they're going for... Oh, they have the double audacity. All right. Yeah, that's A-OK. -okay, you know, nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Are you attacking in, though? Oh, you should be so afraid of my wandering freaking emperor. You really freaking should. They're not. They're not afraid at all. <laughs> they're just not afraid at all. <laughs> 
Okay, so they will be drawing two cards though, thanks to the double audacity that they just had. Like, I mean, come on, double audacity, triple Jukai, that is all they had up until now. Isn't it freaking beautiful? So, Hams, are you into a uh, roping mode now? It feels like they're roping me now. It sure does. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I mean, this should still draw him cards. Am I... Is my internet dead? No. Okay. I just thought my internet maybe died, you know? There was a small chance that that is what happened. Um... Putting down the counter. Strike fast and strike hard. I don't think they have another audacity. Like, let's be honest. Let's be freaking honest. So we're chilling here. Our board looks good. If they do have, like, the, um, you know, the ossification, that is all right with me. Well, that is also pretty much all right with me. That is not, though. That is, like, not all right at all. I really do not like that one singular bit. Okay. Putting down the counter here. Slamming in. Secure storefront Europe. Like, I really thought that I could find something other than land here, you know? Two, four, six, eight lands in the first 17. Yeah, okay, that is absolutely all right. If you think that they have, like, five lands in the first 16... <laughs> it's always the same. It is just always the same. So here comes the ossification now, finally. The wedding announcement. All right, also not that bad, is it now? The moment that they will be getting out of cards, I would just Path of Peril them like there is no tomorrow. They still have the ossification. They're looking at my stuff, you know? Maybe they forget that they can take care of Planeswalkers with it? Nope, they don't forget. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> they did not forget about it. But the question is, which one are they taking? That one, eh? Alright. All freaking right. We're getting rid of Calyx here. We must protect the people. Slamming in with these two. Absolutely freaking worth it. The only question I ask how much more power do they have? Okay, so, my deck still has so many cool things. We just need to freaking find them, you know? We just need to find them. I hope we can. If they have another ossification, I will be slightly disappointed. Okay, alright, that is no ossification. I can live with that still. And you know, wiping the board here is just an easy task. If they attack me, that is alright with me. Once more, I would just wipe the freaking board anyways. It doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even freaking I'm wetter. Uh, stop touching all of my stuff. If you really have another one, I will be so mad. They don't. Okay, and they drew a card here, which is also... Oh, sweetest baby Jesus. Okay, all right. So. Attacking in with a... Everything. I, I will give him an oops here. Oops. Like, I should not have attacked in with this, you know? <laughs> should not. Alrighty. I like it a lot. Must say, you just freaking fan here. You just freaking fan. Okay. So we will see what they get. We're creating another samurai here. Ending that turn. I think we win. I think we do, because I can just, you know, wipe the freaking board and uh, give this a plus one counter, so we will see about that. As long as they don't have a freaking um, ossification number two. This is still all very darn good for us. None of that scares me, not in the slightest. I think we win. I think we win. Okay, alright. Yeah, you can do nothing here. So they will be getting two creatures, I don't care about that because I just Path of Peril, slam in with this little token and then shabwam! I could also do it like this, just to put insult to injury. 
Just, you know. <laughs> Just so you know. To put some freaking insult to freaking injury. And that is it, my friend. That is freaking it. Enchantments. More like get out of here. I know that didn't make sense, but I'm just, you know, happy that I beat freaking enchantments. Because that is the deck to beat right now. That really is the deck to beat. And we beat him really good, so get out of here. We're up against Coutinho. I, I don't know how to say hello in Brazilian. Hello. <laughs> Must be right. I love this hand. And you know what I love also? Crimis? Yes, my friend. And this time I even put the push the button right. You did? I'm proud of you. Thank you. It means the world to me. Oh, we're up against Mono Red. Yes, we are, my friend. Yes, we freaking are. So, um, bringing down the farm handle. I think we have an okay chance against Mono Red with all of our board wipes and all of that, you know? So, I think that we're alright. We can't Path of Peril here anytime. A lot of people are playing this now, which is crazy to me. It's not that good of a card in my eyes. But hey, who am I to tell? Alrighty. And here's the wedding announcement. So right now we are looking alright, you know? Uh, we do have the Wandering Emperor, so that is also pretty darn good. It might have the one thing that deals for damage right away. Invasion of Mercadia. What is Mercadia? Is that like the... Um, what is it? Like the... the, 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 the um, Artifact land? I forgot what it is. Where Chandra is from? Is that the one? You know? Like, you know the, I, I just... I can't remember the name. By <laughs> no way I can. Oh, they have another one of those. Okay, alright. Discarding a land. Right now Mono Red is doing us dirty with card draw. I do not like it too much. Okay. They're going face. That's absolutely alright with me. It really absolutely is. Doing it like this. Playing another freaking wedding announcement. If they have an end to festivities, I will be slightly mad. <laughs> slightly mad. <laughs> Just ever so slightly, you know? So we will see. Please don't play an end to festivities. Please don't, my friend. Please don't. Kumano is okay. I can live with that. That is absolutely alright. Could still have it. Oh, there you go. What? You still need to deal three to this, so it is is it really worth it? I don't even freaking know. Okay. So four creatures is enough. Alright, what is this? A 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Still a okay with me. Still absolutely a okay with me. Ending the turn. One card, two cards. Only one of them was a land. Ooh, cool. <laughs> cool, man. Only one of them. Is this a two cost, by the way? It is. The Rampaging Raptor. Okay, it does have haste. And a Monastery Swift Sperio. Let's just, you know, do this now. You should have seen it coming. I, I wonder how they couldn't see it coming, you know? Um, we kind of need some creatures on the battlefield. But I don't really care too much. I'd rather draw a card here. Get in for six. Oh my! Okay, alright. Yeah, that is really much okay or right with me. Also, getting rid of this little phoenix chick is pretty darn good, you know? Um, let's make another creature. We do have another wandering emperor, so it doesn't really matter too much. Sarah Paragon is amazingly good. Just amazingly good. So, mono red. First in charm, it's now mono red, eh? Is it really how we do things now? I still have the Path of Peril, so whatever they do, I'm very happy about it. Very darn freaking happy. How much is this plus two plus two? Yeah, no blockage. You can have it. Pump it up, my friend. Pump it up really good. Pump it up really good. Okay. 
So I would have lost it, so uh, yeah, it didn't really matter at all to me. So... They will have to block this. Let's just... Was there a way to do it any way different? There wasn't. There really freaking wasn't. Once more, they have to block this. They don't, they just take it all, mono red. Oh, mono red. You really thought you can get me? Me? Malone? Get him beaten by freaking mono red? I don't think so, my friend. I really, really don't think so. You can try all day, but I will crush you, man, like a freaking cherry on top of a sundae. Because I crush those so that the whole sundae flies into my face. And that, my friend, is the fruit of the day. The cherry. Oh, Mono freaking Red. We're up against BS Randy. And that stands for Battlestar. I'm pretty darn certain, children. Battlestar Randy. Look at our beautiful hand here. We're not going first. I'm not a huge fan, but hey, you know it is what it is. Oh, they know who I... Oh, come on. Really? Really? You're just playing another enchantment. It's this free. Enchantment, Mono Red, enchantment. After that, there will be another enchantment, or Mono Red deck. And then what? So please give me a board wipe here, game. You know I deserve it. What? Come on, man. Come freaking on, man. What? Okay. I mean, hey, you know, if you if you have the perfect start, you have the perfect start. Nothing I can do about it. So, um... This is just ridiculous. <laughs> just ridiculous, man. Maybe they don't have an enchantment. Who knows? They would just pump up the whole squad here, and then we're super sad about our lives. Circle... Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. Like, what even is this? Circle of confinement. Nobody plays this card. <laughs> nobody does. <laughs> freaking nobody. Okay, so, um, we will see if we survive here a little bit. You know, this is absolutely not what I wanted to see, but okay. All right. Let's bring down some blockage here. This will buy us at least one or two turns. Then, you know, the Eternal Wanderer, hopefully we will get until that point. No blocks, you can have it. One more blocker is good here. Mathilda will get, you know, ossification here. That much I can tell you. You get out of here, Catilda. I don't like you. I want to see you. And we're getting ourselves a white source. Nope, a black source. No attackage. Maybe we do survive for one more turn, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, we're super dead. <laughs> we're super dead, man. All right, so this is nine on the board. We have to block it like this, don't we? So the only thing that can happen now is that we find a board wipe, you know? I will not block. We didn't find a board wipe. It is what it is, my friends. It is what it freaking is. Good game. Good game, my friend. Like, come on. What What even was this? Like, I don't even want to talk about it, you know? Just... Just go ahead, yes, Randy, your name was very well fitting, very well fitting. You know, for all of you saying I should have blocked here, hey, hey, they would have attacked me for 11 next turn at least, you know, so yeah. Always, it's always like this. Uh, why is there two of them now? I cannot even be a Grimace. I just said I cannot be happy about it. <laughs> and here you just Grimace me from the side. Okay, I mean, hey. What is this? Cool, okay. i never seen this. Looks sus, but okay. So, we're up against another enchantment stack. Oh my lord. Oh my sweetest lord. I'm so certain. Yeah, I told you. I told you it's just another enchantment stack. <laughs> I freaking told you. Okay, I don't care about that spirit and companion too much. I do have my own, but I'd rather have the, you know, the land. And I can still, you know, bring down that Spirited Companion afterwards if I really want to. Just discard and play it for free. That last game, man, that was like so freaking sus. Like, really sus. Like, this is three out of four enchantments. 
That is just absolute insanity, man. Absolute freaking insanity. So, we're taking two here. Still okay, I can live with that. The Sarah Paragon is pretty darn nice, though. Spirited Companion? Uh, Spirited Companion. Good. Real good. Another Sarah Paragon, okay. Uh, I will be getting you here now, Calyx. I don't want you to copy anything. I do not like that one singular bit. And we will see what they're doing here. Like, you know, this Sarah Paragon is pretty darn tasty. Oh, you just have another one! Is this just a repeat of last game? It might be. It might just as well be, you know? <laughs> okay. So, here's the Audacity. Today we'll be copying the Audacity. That is super disgusting. Super freaking disgusting. Can we even do anything here but to Sunfall? I will be losing my little dude here. Okay, alright, that is good. I mean, they, they draw two cards anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh my, okay, alright, maybe this is better. Alex, you're out of here. Here's a Sarah Paragon. I can now I can now block with the spirit of companion. Generous visitore. Yeah, play all of your cards, my friend. Play them all. That is your third Calyx, man. Your third wa Oh my lord. I cannot believe this, man. I don't want to believe it. This is insanity. Like this is just like the game before but worse. Freaking worse, man. <laughs> just worse. Holy smokes, man. Holy freaking smokes, man. Um. Yeah, let's minimize the damage here, shall we? One, two. Yeah, I don't have enough for anything. Holy smoking Jesus, man. Like, what even is this? Like, can somebody please explain to me how they're just all drawing the same cards over and over again? Like, what even is this, man? Three calyxes. The other person before it, like, almost the same thing, but without the calyxes, but just, you know, generous visitors, and I... Once more, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so, uh, attacking in with everything. Nope, I'm not. I'm not attacking in with everything. Just like this. Bringing down the sunfall. Goodbye, my friend. I get a ginormous freaking creature. You draw two cards. Yes, I know. I know, but at least we know they don't have any more calyxes, right? Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> they will. 100% <laughs> have more calyxes. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Drawing two cards now even? Okay, I mean, all right. I mean, all right. Maybe they're driving three cards here. Just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. Yeah, draw another card. Why not? I don't mind. Is there anything here I care for? There's nothing in there I care for. All I care for is getting rid of you here. Slamming in for eight. This whole two last games were pure freaking messing with me, man. Pure freaking messing with me and nothing else. Always the same cards over and over again. Like that, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Easy pe Oh my! They just lost two ossifications. I love that. Freaking love it for us. So! What you gonna do? Another audacity. Why not? Just perfectly fine. Nothing to see, nothing to say. Alrighty. First we slam in. They kinda have to block this. Yeah, I love that for us. Really freaking love it. What you gonna do, my friend? Not blocking, I see. Okay, alright. That is questionable to say the very freaking least. Good game? Why? Freaking, why are you good gaming me? There's literally no reason to good game me. Um, and let's bring down the farmhand. I played a land already, you know, but I got some life for it, so it's absolutely A-OK. -okay. And maybe we even draw something worth our while here. Maybe we do, who knows. 
I mean, they have lost two ossifications. If they have another one in there, hey, there's only so much a Malona can do. They're drawing, though. They're drawing. So maybe we did get him here. Maybe we freaking did get him here. They're drawing with this. That is one card drawn. What you gonna do? Calyx, another ossification? You have another ossification, don't you? You just do. I can feel it from here, man. <laughs> I can just feel it from here. That ain't no ossification. Alright, and... Game? Will you be a piece of crap? Nope. We win here. We still win here, you know? This is still absolutely alright. With that day scoop, get... Out of here, game! Oh my lord! Oh my lord, can we please play something other than a Jamins and Mono Red Cat? Out of here! Please, game, no Mono Red now. <laughs> we played in Jamins, Mono Red, and Jamins, and Jamins. So we have to play Mono Red now, don't we? Ah, sadly too slow. I wish I could have kept it, but it is sadly too slow. I really want Kaya to do something sooner or later, so let's play Kaya today. Also, we're going first Christmas. Yes, I need my friend. And it's a Chamin's once. Are you joking, game? Are you joking? <laughs> Is this a joke to you? <laughs> Is this a freaking joke to you, man? That is three enchantment decks in a row. Okay, I mean, I live with it. I shall freaking live with it. You know, there's nothing I can do about it anyways. Maybe it's humans. Who knows? Maybe it's humans. Oh my. Okay, that was unexpected, to say the very least. Did not expect to refine's tower here. Also, I did not expect us to have six lands in the first nine cards. That is also something that I really don't like to see here, game. Okay, all right. This is pretty good, though. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. So do you think they have basics? Well, let's find out together, shall we? Let's just freaking find out together if they have basics. Um, we do have all the black sources we need, so we're good. We're freaking good. Maybe they don't, you know? Maybe they're just, you know, that one person that doesn't run base. Oh, they do. Okay, <laughs> they do run basics. But at least they don't have a blue source anymore. So that is also nice. I like that as well. What are you? Oh, they're just an Atraxa deck. Oh, that is what you are. You're not even hiding it. We have one, two, three, four, five... Lands now. We need seven for Kaya, though. Which is slightly annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. I did play a land already, so I would just go with the Sarah Paragon and play this land from the graveyard, you know? And then we're good? Question mark? I think we are. So this is going to be a long, grindy freaking game, my friends. A long, grindy freaking game. But the thing is... Okay, there they, they, they have it. Uh, we will have the Kaya. We could just exile their stupid little uh, thing, you know, their Atraxa, and then just turn it into our Atraxa, which I like a lot, so I'm a huge freaking fan. Okay, alright, yeah, do that. Don't really care about it too much, to be honest. A little bit mama hold me, but not too much. We will see what they have here. They do have the thing. Maybe even counter spells? That would be crazy if they did. But, eh, uh, they do have the Leyline Binding, which is still alright with me. Here it comes, the Leyline freaking Binding. This is only creature or enchantment. I don't think that they have two things here, two, uh, two creatures to, you know, do me dirty. Uh, we will have Kaya next turn, which is a pretty darn good for us. So, I will keep my Sarah Paragon. It will refill the, all of the things real good, you know? It will do everything I want it to. How many more of those do you have? What is with the Shuffler today? Like, in all honesty. <laughs> what is with the freaking Shuffler today? So, they might have the uh, drag to the bottom, but they cannot play it because they don't have two black sources here, so I'm alright with that. Sunfall, eh? Slightly annoying, but not the end of the world annoying, especially if we do have this now. So, this one, gone. You gone. 
And uh, now they will play their Atraxa right on curve. Well, not curve, they have more than enough lands here. But now that they have all the lands, they will just be able to play Atraxa. Oh my! Oh, oh my! They don't? They don't? All right. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. That, that is pretty darn good. Archangel of Wrath, though. Okay, all right. I will steal that. So they can flip one of them. Is that annoying to me? It's not really annoying to me. It is still all right, you know? I'll defend my allies. I mean, this is also pretty darn good, so why shouldn't I? <laughs> why freaking shouldn't I? Um, and let's make a samurai so that we do have an answer on the battlefield, you know? Just in case they do have another freaking archangel. Which might happen here. I mean, I would not be surprised. Ooh, that is disgusting. And they found their Atraxa. What did they find here? Nothing. Oh, the Kaya. Really? Really? You milled me a Kaya? You really did? All right. I mean, hey, that's just Pichadori, isn't it? But we do have our own freaking stuff to find. So we just need to freaking find it. Breach the freaking multiverse. I cannot believe this. But once more, we do have our own Kaya. We do have our own ossification also. So we can... Oh, they just have another breach to multiverse. But that is all right with me. I'm kind of a huge fan of that. Not gonna lie. Kind of a huge fan. So one, two, three, four, five. They could play the Archangel if they want to. Or can they? How much is the Archangel? It's four. Yeah, they can do it. They can freaking do it if they want to. If they want to. Your time's almost up. We will see about that. They also have another Leyline Binding, which is more than freaking annoying. But hey, what am I supposed to do about it? I'm pretty darn certain that they will just use it here on the Eternal Wanderer. How much mana do we have exactly seven for the Kaya? Let's flip it. So Kaya would be going down to three. Which is pretty darn annoying. What do we have in here? Nothing of real value, right? We can just play another Atraxa. Oh, it can't be targeted. I almost forgot. It has Hexproof, man. It has freaking Hexproof. All righty. All freaking righty. So, uh, this is my Atraxa now. Thank you very much. And I should find some stuff, you know, like maybe another Breach to Multiverse, for example. That would be pretty darn cool. And then we can just freaking mill them over and over again with our Breach to Multiverse. Okay, so 1-1 one, one Atraxa. up. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> so what do I want here? I want my Breach the Multiverse. I want my Wandering Emperor. Yeah, Wandering Emperor is just better here. Um, Sarah Paragon and Obscure Scorefront is alright. Did I miss anything? No, I took everything I had. Just like this game, it took everything from me. Everything I had. <laughs> so, <laughs> once more, they need to be careful here. They need to be really, really careful. They can never again breach the multiverse. Never freaking again. I forgot to use my Eternal Wanderer, didn't I? Yes, I did. I freaking did. But that is still a okay. They're thinking about using their uh, Leyline Binding here. Maybe they're also left. Maybe they're mad now. There's a chance that they're just mad, you know? But <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's a chance that they are. But we will see about that. We'll just freaking see about it. Are you still here? Well, you know, my friends. There's only one so Oh, they are still here. Okay, I was just about to get my freaking kazoo. This is six. What are you doing, my friend? What are you freaking doing? Alright, taking the damage. I like that. 
Are we creating another samurai here? Now if the leyline binding it, that's alright with me. They're not even doing it. They're drawing more cards? I would be drawing more cards if I were you, my friend. I really wouldn't. Really freaking wouldn't. But hey, who am I to tell you what to do? Alright, the sunfall. That is still alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They do have exactly enough. Exactly enough to be freaking annoying about it. Okay. So they can play the Archangel here if they want to. If they really want to. Is there anything in here that I would like to steal? You're just going with the Atraxa. Okay. Alright. That's questionable to say the very least. They still have the Leyline Binding though. And we will see what they're doing. I mean once more they will just freaking mill themselves sooner or later. They have 17 cards left. can just steal another Atraxa here if I want to. Their Leyline Binding still doing us dirty. Let's draw a card first and see what they're doing. Okay. Classification Europe. Could steal their Atraxa once more if I want to, you know? But would it do me any good? I don't think it would. Are you still here? Come at me, bro. Come at me! Like, how can you after 10 minutes just leave? Just straight up leave. I don't understand. <laughs> so I don't want that Atraxa anyways. Uh, but what I want is this. Getting rid of it is pretty darn good. I think we draw here. I've done my Ambitious farmhand, eh? Let's play the Ambitious Farmhand. It is pretty darn good. Do we even have... Yes, we do. Okay. So our deck consists of a lot of cool things. We just need to freaking find them, you know? Wait, they don't have an Archangel in hand? I thought they had an Archangel in hand. What did I see? Was it this and I thought that's an Archangel? Am I that blind? <laughs> Am I really that blind? Okay. Must be this. Must be it. So, 16 card. What? After everything, you just take your ball and leave, man? Come on. We're not on the playground. This is serious. Freaking business, man. This is magic of the ages. Oh, a Traxa zero. Malone one. That is what is up. Get out of here. We're up against Hate a Hot Hoss. But ho I can't read it. I don't want to read it. <laughs> We're going first. Crimus. Absolute freaking Crimus. This hand would be perfect if we had one single white source. Let's not. This is going to be one of those games, I can tell you right away. You know, we will never, never ever find enough land to survive here. We should have taken the first hand, just gamble on it, you know. Just freaking gamble on it. But hey, I mean, hey, you know, <laughs> I did my turnest. Oh yeah, that's just exactly what I thought would happen. So we have ramp. We just need to find it, you know. We have things to do. Oh my, a land? Do my eyes deceive me here? Is this real life? Did we draw land right when we needed it? Unbelievable. So if we do draw one more land, we're good. We're freaking good. Okay, we didn't. I mean, hey, we, we got one more land out of our deck, so maybe I, you know, I deserve it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, ambitious farm, man, you're perfect. What are we up against, man? Is this another Atraxa deck? You have to tell me if you are another Atraxa deck. You have to freaking tell me. But we can play the Sarah Paragon into a freaking Obscura storefront, which is pretty darn tasty. I like it a lot. I will try. Maybe they counter this. They do not counter it. I love it. I freaking love it. 
So we're on five lands here. And we're gaining a lot of freaking life. I will be taking the swamp, of course. They, they are an Atraxa deck. No surprises in this house. None so ever. I expected it like the back of my hand to happen right away. Their own ambitious farm, man. Okay. I'm so certain that they are. Like, you can tell me whatever you want, but this is one bajillion percent Atraxa colors. They're even... Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they, they do have it. They do have it. <laughs> I was like, they don't even have the, you know, the black swords, but they do freaking have it. I will be attacking in here. Here comes the wandering freaking emperor. They do have another ley line binding, so be it, you know. The negate? Alright, that gives me hope. A little bit of hope. <laughs> Not much, but a little bit. Alright, here comes Atraxa. Wedding announcement. That ain't no Atraxa. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's kind of fine with me. Please don't have another negate. Please don't have another one. They do have another negate. I will just leave. I will just stand up and leave. <gasps> they don't? They don't. Let's drain them for real now. Let's drain them for a lot here. I love it. Freaking love it. So we can also start drawing cards, which is also pretty darn tasty. Best freaking Atraxa I have ever seen in my life. This Atraxa came out and made their head explode. Just like that. But can we please recapulate? We had three freaking enchantment decks. Mono red, two Atraxa decks. That is the meta now, my friend. And as you could have seen, if it weren't for that one game where the opponent had everything in perfection, we would have won them all. That is what I'm freaking saying. I mean, hey, you know, we played all of the enchantments decks. We played freaking two Atraxa decks and we only lost one freaking game. I can live with that. I'm a huge fan, like, you know, there's like a lot of things that I hate, but those were some things that I liked very freaking much. So yeah, I think that the, de the deck is pretty viable, and in the intro I forgot to, like, you know, say the name again or whatever of the deck, but sometimes you need to mix up things, so when you expect something, bam, the unexpected happens. I'm showing my boobs now, no I'm not, okay. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. <laughs> I really, <laughs> really can't that happen. Also, I want to thank all of my patrons and members, every single one of you. My sponsor, Ultimate Guard, with the new Ultimate freaking logo that I love so much. I mean, it could be in color, but you know, white and black is still pretty darn good. And I want to thank you all for keeping the lights on here at MTG. I said on here at MTG Malone's. I really freaking appreciate every single one of you. I couldn't do anything without any of you freaking watching. I mean, we're not even three years old and we are already at a quarter 100,000 almost. That is just freaking insanity. And if you are still here, please let me know by putting a little Malone, intangible slayer, down below in the comments because I have hex proof. And remember my friends, that if you're waking up tomorrow morning, it's a beautiful, beautiful pace of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.